Sit, go sit. I can't let that. Woohoo! <laughs> My name is Carrie Hunt, and I'm the director and the founder of the Wind River okay. Bear Institute. Sit. Good. Bear shepherding is the name we give our method of teaching bears and teaching people. It's exactly that. We are the shepherds of bears. The dogs are leashed to us and we shepherd them out of places they shouldn't be until they're in cover. Good dog, good dog! Good job, bear! Good job, good dog! We can train wildlife just the way we train our dogs. Same way, and that they can learn. We're the only institute out there doing this kind of work. The only one. Oh, we're on something here. Find it, Kayla. Good boy! The standard methods for dealing with a problem bear are to either destroy the bear, depending on the level of conflict right there, or to relocate it. And relocation is generally just a band-aid. Problem bears are bears that have lost their wariness of people because humans have taught them that it's okay. And we have to teach them it's not okay. You both are just... I just have a huge problem with the idea of habituating bears to huge crowds of people, and they are 20 to 40 yards away, and that that bear isn't learning the wrong thing. I just know that it, it's about allowing the public to get good pictures, and yet it is, I don't think it's ethical. When I see a bear or a dog, I instantly feel how that animal feels looking at me. She's taught me to kind of view bears just like you would view a dog or any other animal that you have a connection to. They're all different and they all have personalities. Each bear is a story. Each dog has a story to tell as it works with a bear. Ready? Yep. Go, go, man, go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Go get him. Go get him. We've worked for 17 years now, and we've never had a dog hurt. Ever had one of us hurt, and never had an aggressive move from a bear. These guys are superstars. They're very, very primitive, very wolf-like dogs. What you got? They're bred to dance with a bear bait up on the ground. So they know how to work a grizzly on the ground like a cow dog knows how to work cows. They kind of hurt it from the back end. And as soon as the bear turns around, these guys will give it some space. They don't want to deal with the claws or the teeth. So one dog has the ability to keep a bear cornered on flat terrain just by doing that nipping, backing off kind of thing. When you're in the flow of it, there's nothing better than feeling the dogs talking to the bear and the bear understanding, and wanting to do it. And uh, it's very powerful. These dogs know that it's spring and they know the bears are coming out. They know that in their minds. They know it's time to go work. We are doing two contracts in Alberta this year in Kananaskis Provincial Parks and in the Bow Valley in their community of Canmore you would see at least five different grizzly bears getting taught a day. Uh, you'd see grizzly bear cubs, grizzly bears roadside with tourists looking at them. Check it out. I'll be running from one bear to the next, so I'll push one bear off a golf course, and then I'll get a call that another bear is in a campground, so I'll move over to the campground and push that bear out of there, and then move and push a bear off the highway. It's a given that we are gonna work bear after bear, day after day. All of this, is aimed at 
raising the bar on how we work with animals, with our dogs, with our wildlife.